everyone. Today in this video, I wanted to go over how to properly crate train your Frenchie. Now this will apply to any dog. I just happen to be training this cute little Frenchie, Rue, today. Hi, Rue. And before we get into it, I just want to remind you to subscribe if you want more dog training videos like this every week. All right, so the first step to crate training your new Frenchie or whatever dog or puppy you have is to make sure you're making the crate a really, really awesome place. I see so many people make the mistake of only giving their dog a peanut butter Kong or a treat when they're about to leave. This is one of the biggest mistakes because your dog most likely actually prefers to be with you rather than be left alone with this peanut butter Kong. If you've ever been super anxious in your life, then you know that when you're really anxious, you don't really have a strong appetite. So a lot of people will notice that their dog doesn't even touch the treat while they are gone. So it's important that you work to desensitize your pup to the crate first. Now in the meantime, if you do have to leave, go ahead and give your puppy or dog that peanut butter Kong or whatever. Just make sure you're also giving them that peanut butter Kong when you are not planning on leaving. Doctor, you don't fit in that crate. <laughs> Dogs are really quick to make the connection of, okay, this Kong means that my human is leaving. We don't wanna create that negative association with that treat that you are giving your dog or puppy. So just make sure you're varying it because dogs are really quick to make these associations. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about how to desensitize your puppy to the crate when you're actually working on training to enjoy the crate. Now the end goal of this behavior is that your puppy willingly goes into the crate when you say the word crate. Step one is to get your pup to just walk into the crate naturally without even actually closing the door. So all I'm going to do is take my treat, throw it into the crate, and then let her run back out. If your pup already has a really negative association with the crate, you might not even want to throw it all the way in. You might just want to throw it partially in or even just around the crate. So really assess how your pup is doing. You're going to repeat that a few more times. All right, so the next step is to play around with the door a little bit. Now, once again, if your pup already has a negative association with the crate, this might be pretty scary for them. So just take it really, really slow. So same thing, throwing the treat in, play around with the door. And I'm not forcing her to do anything. I'm trying to make her make the decision to really, really want to be in the crate. I'm not even saying the crate pew yet. I'm just trying to get her really comfortable going into the crate. Now the next thing you can do is ask for a sit inside of the crate. Throw the treat in, sit. Yes. Crate. <gasps> Good girl. Close the door. And so we're slowly desensitizing her because a lot of dogs are scared of this crate door closing. Um, so we want to make sure she knows that every time this closes doesn't mean that we are going to leave. And we're trying to make her really love this crate so, so much. Crate. Yes, good girl. And I'm actually gonna give her the treats in the crate. So I don't want her to be rewarded for running out, I want her to actually get the crate or the treats inside the crate. So when she's doing it regularly, um, you can start asking for that crate cue. Crate! Yes! Good girl! Okay, ring! Yay! Crate! Good girl! Sit, good girl. And then I can play around with closing it all the way, maybe even putting this, close, actually locking it, give her lots of treats. Praise, good girl. Yes, such a good girl. And then wait for her to stay. Huh? Now there are definitely ways to level up uh, this cue. So what you can do is also close the door and then leave the room, come back, reopen. So try to practice this with your pup every single day so that your pup starts to really, really love their crate. If you want step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to crate train each level, 
Um, I've included that as a little freebie for this video. You can download that in the link below and you can literally check off each step as you progress. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up. It helps me a lot. It helps build my channel and I appreciate it so much. And be sure to download that freebie if you want those step-by-step -step instructions on how to crate train. All right, thanks everyone. And I will see you in the next video.